it was, it was a very isolating experience. When everybody else around you has a life, and you're trying to save yours, but the people around you have to live. I was in the kitchen doing something, and it was itchy here, so I was scratching. And as I scratched kind of deeply, I thought, oh, that's not supposed to be there. When I got the diagnosis that day, I was just totally stunned. You know, you thought, you know, what did I do? What did I do wrong? And terrified, first for me, and then for my family. I wasn't ready to check out. I was 63 when it, when it started. I remember saying to my husband one day, came home from work and I was crying, and I said, Mark, I'm not ready to leave yet. The boys still need me. If somebody said to me, who helped you with this lymphoma? The doctors, obviously, and they were wonderful. They helped me survive. But the people that helped me live were my nurses. As you go through this, um, as much as there are people around to support you, ultimately it's you and how you look at things. I had to decide whether the disease was going to master me or was I going to master the disease. And I decided to master the disease. I wasn't going to let it you know, interfere with my ability to function and what I had to do. I don't consider myself cured. I know if it comes back, I will get it treated again. There are some things of which you have control and some things you don't. I'm grateful to have had this time because it's five years and then some. You know, I, it's there, I know it, I'm okay, whichever way it goes, I've given it my best shot.